Alright, today we return here once again with the Tournament of Anime, but with a crazy matchup. We have Attack on Titan, yes, the leaders and the demons of the tournament. As y'all know, with their newfound Titan powers and being able to be hit, they are a scary threat. But today we are taking them and putting them against My Hero Academia. For the people who don't know what this is, this is a tournament of all animes. But I hope you enjoy. This is going to be a crazy ass battle. Let me know which other these teams who are y'all voting for. And if y'all want any of these edits, join the Discord down below. Let's get into it. All right, Attack on Titan versus My Hero Academia. As y'all have seen in the bracket, man, this is getting crazier and crazier every single episode. And we have, you feel me, two teams that could do very, very good, you know. So we got to see what happens. Mikasa starting off with some strong combos. Oh, my God. I want to get Stain. Obviously, like I said, whoever team, whatever show gets two video, like two full match wins, gets, you know, wins obviously today. And this is losers go home for good. You cannot come back. This is the losers bracket now. So the, whoever's in here got to lock in, obviously. Okay. Mikasa locked in right now, comboing down in the corner right now. And like I said, AOT is one of my more favorite teams now, just because they can get hit, they can be stunned, you know, it's not just OP hyper armor titans that are getting health drain. You know, I feel like this is where they actually have a better chance of winning when they can be hit, because they don't have to worry about health drain no more. Oh my god, and Mikasa is putting Steam down with the combos. Okay, but here we go, we got, we got my boy Nomu coming out, and Nomu is going to do damage every time. Okay. And I see Annie had gotten hit there too, so Annie might have took some good damage there. Okay. Mikasa on the wall with this boy. And Annie gets hit every time she comes out, it seems like. Damn, Annie, come on. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mikasa's going to take some damage here. Okay, she went into mode, though. More damage, obviously, speed and the Ackerman sense. But that ain't going to make it too much easier. I don't know whose ultimate this is. Oh, Bakugos. Okay. I don't know how much Bakugo shit's gonna help in this situation, or if it'll even land, but uh, but I'm here for it. Okay, Stain and, and Mikasa still going at it after all that, oh my god. And let me know if y'all think either one of these teams are gonna win, who y'all rooting for out of these two? Okay, and Mikasa is literally just rotate comboing him, she's wilding out. Okay, here we go, we got Bakugo coming out on the floor going against her now. Oh my god, that's good damage by Bakugo. Okay. I must say, if there's one character that's not going to let you get what you want to do, is Bakugo, especially going against Mika. So she does have long combos to kind of like rotate her combo. But, um, you know, like I said, you know, you can, we, we don't do 100 zeros around her, so she can't benefit from obviously just using the same combo repeatedly. Okay. Oh, she dodges some of that, but she still takes some damage from there. Okay. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. She's literally just trying to get with Bakugo right now. Yup. Good damage right there. Okay, here we go. We got Annie hopping out. Annie being the strongest on this team by far. One of the strongest on AOT. And has the ability to beat the strongest people on AOT. She is probably the most dangerous person you don't want to fight in this matchup. They're, this is who they want to get rid of early no matter what they have to do. This is not somebody you want to fight. Great move. Great damage. I'm about to say, you want to get her off the field. You do not want to fight her. Okay. Any with the combos, like I said, when she gets close range, she's gonna punish you for it. Pulling out the rifle. Mikasa counter. Yup. Annie in the air with the thunder spear into the ice. Oh yeah, she's putting in pain. She got this nigga. Yeah, Baku go against the wall. Hit him with the thunder spear. Oh yeah, and Bear Toll. Yup, them two on top of each other. And like I said, Annie and Bear Toll both still have their Titan states. So that's scary. You gotta you still gotta remember that every time. Okay. The moves by my boy. And like I said, no move still is in the background too. So my hero does have some hitters still left. But it ain't gonna be easy. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh my god, that hurts. Okay. Oh yeah, Annie's Annie's not going for that. That's too many things hitting her at once. Yo, Bakugo's locked in right now. He's trying to get rid of her. Okay, W Bakugo. He has to, I'm not gonna lie. After Stain, Stain's performance, he gotta do, he gotta play pretty good. Oh, it's over. I think Andy kills here. Oh, Mikasa killed him actually. Oh, okay. He forces he forces the Titan transformation. Now we go. Here we go. We got the Titan. Like I said, the Titan can be stunned. It can be hit. It's going against Nobu now. Okay. Nobu bouncing around. I think Nobu is the last person on this team. I don't know for sure. Um, because I think Bakugo is dead. We we about to find out in a second once he turns this move off. But it's working actually. It's kind of shortening Andy down a little bit. Throwing some humans at him. Okay, it's like kind of a Titan battle right now. I kind of I kind of fuck with this. Okay, 
and he's Titan being very aggressive. Obviously, you know, it's, it's a more of a hand to hand combat, close range type of Titan. So we already know that from the show. But, um, yeah, she's winning combat right now in hand to hand combat against the Nomu. Like I said, she can be stunned, but this boy has to land some punches first. Nigga's getting dominated. He's backing up, playing smart, punching up, getting range. He knows what she's doing. Okay. And this move right here obviously never hits. It's just a heal move. Okay, nice little stun move right there. And like I said, Annie can be stunned. So that's the thing now. Now you don't have to worry about, you know. Oh, yeah, yep. Just like that. Good moves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's going to hurt. And yeah, he literally just can't land any moves. Annie is just faster than he is. And that's sad. You, to get outpaced by Annie, that just shows how strong the AOT is starting right now. All right, the strongest team. Here we go. We got Erwin, Reiner, and my boy Levi going against Todoroki, Hiroshima, and obviously Deku. We got to see what they do as a team. But um, Todoroki with the buff, uh, you know, a lot stronger than he was. We got to see what he does. Erwin not being weak at all either. Obviously, he can summon, you know, the, the Colossus. He can summon Aaron and, uh, the, you know, the Attack Titan as well as... Uh, Oh my god, I'm just paying attention to how go crazy Todoroki's going right now. But uh, yeah, he, he can summon an attack titan as well as Levi to the battlefield. So Erwin's not weak. You know, Erwin's a monster in mode. So he just has to play a little good, obviously, in base. And then he he, he could definitely take a victory home. But we know that uh, same thing with uh, my boy Todoroki, though. Todoroki is a scary person. You see how, how good he's been doing already in this match. Uh, I'm not I'm not down on Todoroki at all. Okay. Oh yeah, comboing up, putting Erwin in a bad place early on. Here we go. And we thought had meaning. Every hope, but happiness. And, and like I said, these characters can be defeated, can be destroyed, and they're all hittable. And Erwin's not allowed to move. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit, niggas start sneezing and shit. Alright. But like I said, these characters are hittable. Erwin cannot move during this, this speech, so you know, it's, it's very strong, but it's definitely beatable. And then when the speech is over, obviously, Erwin can move. Their lives. Were they meaningless? Okay. An example to us all. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Look at Todoroki. Getting rid of... Got rid of Eren. And I feel like, like I said, this is a fair way to do it. That's still very, very entertaining. You know, make Erwin useful. Y'all let me know down below what y'all think. Oh, my God. Levi said, let me get right. This is the pregame. Oh, my God. Kirishima was whooping his ass, though. Okay. Okay, these niggas are getting at it. Hiroshima and Levi are going at it right now. Oh yeah, here we go. We got okay, speech is over. Oh my god, and this nigga Erwin is on another level of timing right now. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, did they did he bug? What's going on? These niggas are just clutching rip. You, you, my boy, okay, Kirishima, there we go. We got Red Riot out. Red Riot out. Okay. Nice little combos from my boy. Okay. And like I said, I see... Oh, yeah, they got that nigga in a sandwich. It's not looking good for bro. It's not looking good for bro. All right, I decided to do a rematch for this fight just because Erwin, I, it seemed like Levi had bugged, so I gave uh, Hiroshima his health back. Total Rookie was dead regardless, but um, it's a 2v2. Reiner and Levi going against Red Wyatt and Deku. Let's see how this goes. It's funny because both of these guys got armor. You know, the armor Titan, Hiroshima, you know, he got armor. We've seen an armor battle right now. Whoever's, you know, superior is see. Okay. Okay, Reiner summoning for backup with the helicopter. W summon for backup. Still kind of getting crushed right now by Hiroshima. Okay. Will backup help though? Okay, there we go. Backup's helping a little bit. Okay, he's going into his Titan State temporarily to get some nice little tactics in. And it's, it's working right now though. He definitely has the advantage on my boy Hiroshima. Okay, Hiroshima having a lot of meter. He need to use some of that meter. Or it's not popping like that. Okay. Reiner comboing up. And oh my god, that was nice combos by my boy Reiner. Okay, Reiner now in his, I mean, not Reiner, Kirishima in his Red Riot mode. He is, uh, you know, Red Riot Unbreakable. He's going to be extremely hard to, uh, obviously, to, to, to kill. You know, with this, I, like I said, he has a lot of hype armor in this mode. So we got to see what happens. 
Okay. And this nigga is doing hella damage. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Obviously, my boy Red Rye went down. Now it's just up to deck. He's fighting against Levi with the famous Rider assist right now. And it's not looking too good for him. As y'all know, this is the latest uh, Deku, though. He does have Vigilancy and all that. So he might be able to put in some type of work. I got to see something from him. Okay. Oh, my God. And that damage. Nice little bits of damage right there. Levi. Okay. Nice little flip kick right there. Yeah, and I'm not, like I said, Levi is just, when it comes to the one-on-one -on -one battle, he's just very supreme. He won the one-on-one -on -one tournament. Levi is a demon. Let me see some full count, like 100% Deku now. That's going to make shit way harder for Levi, though. Because you know we know he has that one ultimate attack where he hits the whole map in the little barrage radius. And when he's getting jumped, Reiner and Levi might be a duo we need to learn about. Here we go, ultimate attack. Oh, my God. Look at Levi's health. Okay. And now we got, obviously, Vigilante Deku out. The strongest version of Deku. Oh, yeah, but Levi said fuck all that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Levi said fuck all that. I'm not going to lie. Him and Reiner. Reiner knocking him in the air. Him throwing out a Thunder Spear. These niggas are meant to work together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, De Deku Vigilante, though, is putting in some work right now. He's, he's low-key, you know, trying to bring it back. But he still has to deal with Reiner. And he has to deal with Levi's second mode. Yeah. Or oh, Levi's first mode. He didn't even go to mode. But there we go. That's the end of that. And there goes My Hero Academia.